True Gangsters Presents Part 2 of Q&A Question, who was the other Chicago mobster in the Indiana cornfield helping Big John Stoop Fekarota and Albert Torco bury the bodies after the hit on the Spilotro brothers? Answer the other shadowy figure that was also there helping dig the hole and bury the Spilotro brothers in Indiana after the hit in Bensonville, Illinois, was no other than low-key and long-time gangster, Dominic Tutsi Palermo. Dominic Tutsi Palermo. As seen here in this photograph. Question, who was the Chicago outfit member that owned the home, in Bensonville? that Tony and Michael Spilotro were lured into before being dumped in an Indiana cornfield. Answer, the name of the man who owned the home was no other than Tony's capo back home that he trusted, Louis Eboli, owned the home the two brothers were killed in the basement of, Louis Eboli was sent from New York to be with Chicago, after his father was whacked. Lucky Tony, little did he know he was secretly an enforcer for Sam Carlisi, and would kill the Spilotros along with other mobsters. Question, what was the name of Big Paul Castellano's driver, who was killed along with Paul? In front of Spark Steakhouse in Manhattan? Answer. His name was Tommy Bellotti, he was Paul's personal bodyguard and one time briefly his underboss. Question? Do I think Lil Tony Zitso of the Chicago outfit is dead, in the witness protection program, or in hiding? I did a whole video on this subject, that video was also requested by supporters of the channel, but I would be glad to give more of my thoughts on this situation. Answer, he was wiped out by upper management, after being left vulnerable with his captain in prison. Some think he is hiding, or in the witness protection program. I would not say being in the WITSEC program, is also not a possibility, although he never had the reputation of a beefer. If that is the case, it is more for protection after being vulnerable to members after him and his captain's rackets. He was most likely whacked by the outfit, or let's say his competition. Who killed John Gotti's bodyguard Bobby Boriello and why? Lucci's family feared underboss and calculated killer and hitman. Anthony Gaspipe Casa would kill. Bobby Boriello in front of his house for the unsanctioned hit. On Big Paul Castellano ordered by Bobby Boriello's captain. Which was no other than John Gotti. Frankie DeChico was also killed over the unsanctioned hit on Big Paul. They were ordered killed by the Commission and Genoese. Boss Vincent the Chin. Giganti and Gambino Paul Castellano. Loyalist and betrayer of Gotti. Daniel Marino who was also on the panel. Casa was no regular underboss most kills Casa would personally take care of, known as a street brawler and also a deadly shooter Casa was not one to toy with. Gravano was also a feared underboss consiglia, despite what people may think, Gravano and Casso did business together and had personal meetings together even being caught on surveillance footage with one another. Question. Who was the main shooter of Big Paul Castellano former boss of the Gambino family killed by the Gotti crew ordered killed by John Gotti? They had several planned shooters on the scene along with backup shooters but Gambino enforcer and Gotti loyalist John Carneglia would get off the kill shot that take out Big Paul, Eddie Lino, was also a shooter and like Boriello would also be killed by the Lucci's family by Casso's orders. Question? Was Big Paul Castellano of New York connected with any Chicago guys? Answer, yes, the FBI indicated that he once had ties to Joey Dove's Iupa and Jack Cerrone, leaders of the Chicago outfit, Jack and Joey would visit Paul on business in New York. Question, who was the secret informant at the Rave Night Social Club, Gotti's Social Club? Answer, 
The secret informant at the rave night was Willie Boy Johnson, even though people speculate it was Joe Watts, I think it was Willie Boy Johnson, and I also have another theory, that would definitely be an unpopular opinion, but in that life anything is possible. Question? Was Willie Boy Johnson a made man in the Gambino family? The answer is, no, he was not a made man because Willie Boy was half Native American and only half Italian, and no Native Americans were allowed to be made men within the family. Question. Which gangster has been your favorite to research and write about? Answer. My favorite gangster to write about has been John No Nos de Franzo, of the Elmwood Park Crew, Chicago outfit. I also really enjoy writing about John Gotti, of New York's Gambino crime family. Question How did Anthony Gospipe Casso get his nickname? He inherited the nickname from his father Gospipe Sr. who used a heavy gas pipe to strike his foes with Casso would follow in his father's footsteps and also use a gas pipe to strike his enemies. Casso was a very feared made man and underboss, another gangster I truly enjoy writing about. Question, did Greg Scarpa have a nickname? People always confuse him for Anthony Gospipe Casso. So, what was his nickname? Greg Scarpa's nickname is the Reaper Greg the Reaper Scarpa. I also have seen people call him Gospipe or call Gospipe the Reaper by accident. Once again, Greg's alias is the Reaper. Question. When Roy DeMeo was ordered killed by Big Paul, who did he give the hit to contract to? At first Paul would come to John Gotti to do the hit, but Gotti refused to kill Roy DeMeo, so the hit was given to Nino Gaggi and the Gemini Twins, his own crew at the time. The Gemini Twins would eventually leave the Gambino family to join Casso and the Lucci's family. This was out of Gotti to do because in the life when you are asked to do a hit, it's an order from the boss and you follow through with that order without any hesitation. The only reason Gotti might have hesitated is out of fear of Roy and his crew. If the hit was somehow botched, Gotti would have paid the ultimate price, but on the flip side Paul could have had Gotti clipped instantly for refusing to take orders which is not how Mafia does things but Gotti did things his way and turned it down. Question. Who in the Chicago outfit back in the day had a really cool nickname like one that stood out? Answer. Donald Angelini of the Chicago outfit was Tony Spilatro's replacement for gambling rackets. He also has one great nickname, and that is the Wizard of Odds. Thanks for watching part 2 of this special Q&A episode, your mob historian pal, true gangsters of yesterday. Don't forget to subscribe, hit like and smash that bell like a true gangster.